Yo, what is up everyone? Lil Bernier here and today I'm going to be going over how to make a hostage rescue shit and how to make a bomb defusal type map. Um, so basically, I already set up like this little tutorial type thing. You can see over here, this is where the bomb site's going to be and over here is where the terrorists spawn and over here is where the CT spawn on this little weird dock. But, so getting on into it, the easy part is obviously going to be making the diffuse -zle part. And this part is really simple. So all you have to do is just go to your textures over here. Type trigger, okay? Just type trigger. So once you've typed trigger, you can simply just go to where your bomb site wants to be and then just drag over it like this and bam hit enter you don't have it you don't have to have it this big and like on top of everything you see how like it's going inside of there like you can move it like this and get it out of there and then like lower it all the way down to the ground and do some of like this weird stuff right here i've seen a few map makers do that but like i just find that a little bit weird just bring it down into the ground and you know have it like this and that's all you really need to do but you then once that's all you really need to do with like the construction part of it so all you have to do it now is just hit control T and then you'll be popped up with this you have to be selected on that first and then you just hit control plus T and then you come over here and you just type bomb target so once you have that you have this weird stuff I don't know what that does but hey you got a bomb target now and the bomb target is literally just a random ass target right here and it's where you plant the bomb so that's how to make like a little um a little 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 tiny uh bomb site so yeah let's get on into how to make the hostage so i'm gonna put my hostage inside of here and yeah so first of all we're gonna have to delete that Next is I want to bring these over here into here like that. So now we have a little bit more of cover. Let's move it like that. Actually, let's do that. So we got a little bit more cover. And yeah, that'll, that'll work, whatever. So we're going to put the hostage right here. Right in that corner right there. So, first of all, all you're going to have to do is just get an entity by clicking the entity tool, as you guys probably know, um, and then clicking right there. So, once you have that, you're just going to want to type in here, hostage. Oh, what did I just do? Okay, so we're going to... We're going to click down on the entity, and then we're going to click down on there again. And we're going to want to type hostage and get the hostage entity. And maybe another time I'll go over how to spawn everything. How to have, like, different spawns and stuff. But that's not really needed right now if you guys just want to have, like, a few hostages in your map. And, you know, you don't want it to be too complicated. So, bam, right there. And now we have a hostage in our map so that part is done and now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna make sure we have trigger right here and then we're gonna go to the CT uh, spawn right here and we're just gonna want to go like that and make this the random hostage rescue zone and once again hit control T and then type in hostage rescue and we have it start disabled. That probably doesn't do anything. But um Yeah, right right here. I'm actually gonna add a boat over here. Cause I kinda like boats. 
and a boat would look would be kind of cool. What is this? Um, a boat would be kind of cool with the little river that I have right there. Uh, here, we'll just do this one and pretend like it's an actual, like, boat that's not from Venice. So, here we go. We're going to rotate that a bit like that. So now we're going to move it over on top of the boat. And once it's on top of the boat, then we should be good. Um, make sure you have to get on the boat to actually, like, you know, rescue the hostage. But, hey, that looks pretty good. Um, so, let's test that, I guess. Um, probably not much to test, but let's file save, and then F9, and go. Nothing's too special about all of this. I'm going to flip my beautiful karambit that I have in my hand. Ooh, this makes me feel nice. So... The game's going to load up just like last time. Just this time, it might take a little bit longer depending on how much more you did on your map. And, oh, actually I want to swap teams, so that's good that we had the little thing right there. So now I'm going to do bot just kick and just go find the hostage. It's not there, but hey, this At least we know where it is, right? Oh shit, it's down here. Okay, I forgot. It falls through the... It fell through the displacement that was on my map. So it won't do anything different besides this. Um, just don't be stupid like me. Um, yeah, I have a displacement on my map. And I might have also put it underneath um, everything. Like on accident, like just have it fade, fading through a little bit like this or something. Um, but yeah, there's there's plenty of reasons why something like that could have happened. But let's just MP underscore warm up and warm up and and let's just look at this beautiful, nice little dock that I made. I like this. I like that a lot. So yeah, I think yeah, he just fell through. There's nothing that. Probably could have happened. Um, but this is the nice little dock that I made. And then the hostage has been rescued. So that's that. And that's really simple. That's an easy 8 minute video for me and easy 8 minute tutorial for you guys. So that was really easy and we just breezed right through both of them so maybe some other time I'll go into depth on how to set up all the different hostage uh, rescues uh, or yeah all the different hosti hostage stuff and I don't know just everything else I'll teach you guys how to make two different hostage rescue zones which is literally just taking this one copying it and then doing control G with that one so make sure you have them both selected and now they're both the same entity and yeah yeah it's really easy so thank you all for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe i really enjoy when people like the video and subscribe and i'm also sorry that i couldn't upload a lot in the last few weeks because i've been terribly sick but hey i'm better now it's mostly for the most part um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and be sure to subscribe. I love you.